Hi folks, the primitive sling was one of mankind's earliest projectile weapons. It was invented during the Stone Age and widely used by primitive cultures around the world. The sling was the standard projectile weapon of the Roman infantry. The Spanish conquistadors in their invasion of the Aztecs and Incas reported the primitive sling as having greater range, power, and accuracy over the primitive bow. According to British colonial accounts in Africa, within 50 yards, a sling in skilled native hands was as dangerous as a firearm. Yet it is widely reported on the internet that the sling has poor accuracy. Many people are saying that it is a difficult weapon to learn and master. Some say that the sling is a worthless weapon. Today I am going to find out. Constructing the sling is straightforward. I first obtained a piece of cordage the length of my arm span, which is about six feet. I then have the cordage using my hands. Then with my palm and fingers, I created a fold in the cordage that resembled the letter S. Then the cordage is wrapped around and through the S once, the loop tightening. The same technique is applied to the other side, thus creating a three-strand pouch. Then a bowline knot is made on one end of the cordage, creating a loop. Finally, an overhand knot is made, completing the sling. Ammunition was found in great quantities in a local creek bed. This primitive ammunition consisted of smooth, football-shaped river pebbles, approximately the size of small eggs. The sling, along with 50 river pebbles, took just five minutes to construct and collect. Now after several test throws, I learned that the most precise way to release the sling was to put the loop onto my index finger and the knot between my index finger and my thumb. The sling is indeed a powerful and long-range weapon. With just 10 minutes of practice, I was casting egg-sized stones out to 100 yards. But the central question is whether the sling can be accurate. So as a test, I set up a 10-inch wide bucket at a distance of 30 feet, my effective stocking range for small game. As a complete beginner, I wanted to see how many stones it would take to hit the target. At first, stones were flying everywhere. Slinging felt instinctive like throwing a baseball or a rabbit stick. Gradually, I was able to get the pebbles to land within a three feet diameter of the target. Yet, this seems to take immense concentration and muscle memory. The slightest hesitation or muscle twitch or wandering of the mind made the pebble fly far away from the target. After an hour, 50 stones and zero hits, I started wondering if I was having an off day. So grabbing a throwing stick, another primitive weapon that I had little experience with, I tried to hit the target. The first attempt resulted in an indirect hit. The second throw was a direct hit. There was nothing wrong with me, so I kept trying. There were moments when I felt like this time it's gonna happen. This time I'll get a hit, only for it to fail. And fail again, and again, and yet again. After a hundred stones, my arm was beginning to hurt. Some pebbles were landing just inches from the target, but still not hitting it. After more than three hours and 200 stones casted, I did not succeed in hitting the target even once. This was an exceedingly frustrating experience. <sighs> Missed it again. So, is the primitive sling a worthless weapon? Well, as an improvised survival hunting weapon, I believe it is worthless. It would take an unskilled person years of regular practice to become accurate with the sling. In an emergency, one would not have the time to master such a skill. However, there are other uses for the sling beyond just hunting small game. With minimal practice, this weapon can be used to affect the movements of animals, corralling herds of ruminants or scaring off predators. I can see the sling as an economical and effective tool for pastoralist peoples. Furthermore, I can see the sling's simplicity, range, power, and cheap abundant ammunition as being advantageous over the primitive bow, 
when used in warfare. When used by large numbers of warriors, individual accuracy may simply not be that important. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. For more videos like this one, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Thanks a lot and goodbye.